Clement Towns and Scott Rude kicking it with you here on 120 Sports late night, just past midnight on the East Coast. And how about we talk a little tennis, shall we, Scott? Overreaction time. Venus and Serena, they are going to meet in the Australian Open final. Serena has won 16 of the 27 head-to-head -head meetings. Scott, is it an overreaction to say the Williams sisters story is the greatest in tennis history? No, that is not an overreaction. I think it is the greatest story um, of all time. And particularly when you add this, I don't think anyone anticipated this to happen. Venus hadn't been in the Grand Slam final in seven years. Now she comes here. Now, hard court has been their second best surface. Yep. Grass has been their best. They, sure. they were dominant for many years at Wimbledon. Wimbledon. And uh, Serena, you know, barring injury, she'll be the favorite there um, at the All England Club in about a half a year. Uh, but there's a lot at stake here. I mean, Serena could get her 23rd modern era Grand Slam and break the tie with Steffi Graf, and then she'd be one away for all time from Margaret Court, who is synonymous there in Australia. But the fact that two girls from Compton yep. with a uh, father who people said was a crackpot father <laughs> who didn't know what he was talking about because right? he said they were going to revolutionize tennis when they were 8 and 10 years old on Compton, broken, cracked, busted up tennis courts where he had 200 tennis balls and it was all they did and it worked. And there's a lot of parallels to Tiger Woods and Tiger's broken. Um, and Serena and Venus, they've stayed balanced and this is still happening. But you can't underestimate and overstate two girls from not poverty but lower class means Certainly not a normal tennis background, so to speak. It's a white, racist, elitist sport. Yeah, so far away from it. I guess the interesting thing of it all, too, is this is where they played their first Grand Slam uh, final. Way back in 1998, they went up against each other. That's when they had the beads in their hair look so so different, look so young. Well, that and was here we are. for a doubles final. No, no, singles, where they play each other. First time they play each other well, in a Grand Slam final was 1998 at the Australian Open. This is full circle. 19 years later, they meet again, and what some people feel like might be the last time they yeah, meet Yeah, I don't other. think this is going to happen again. I mean, Venus was benefited from having a pretty Pretty easy route. Vandeweghe defeated Kerber to then face Venus in the semi, and it's sort of what Floyd Mayweather says that when you beat a great fighter after right. Floyd beat him, he's like, "Well, you beat him after I did." Meaning fighters are never the same. Well, Vandeweghe wasn't uh, at full strength. She really overexerted herself, put everything she could in to beat the best tennis player, at least in terms of ranking, to get there. So. It all worked out. And keep in mind, we always only have a 50% chance to have the likelihood or chance right. just to have Venus and Serena to, to face off because Venus is not um, really ranked within the parlance of tennis.